My name is Larissa Pikor. I work at the BC Cancer Research Center under Juan Lam, and my research involves looking at the differences between the two main subtypes of non-small cell lung cancer and how these differences contribute to tumor progression, development, and how they could be used therapeutically. One of the great things about the program and the lab is just that everybody is really helpful and it's very collaborative, which I think is really critical, especially in cancer, getting to work with physicians and clinicians and pathologists, and as well as the bench work, and working with all those people helps to translate findings that we make into the clinic faster. Working with Kelsey is uh, great. She's got a ton of experience, and we worked together on a couple of projects, and we just recently had a paper accepted at the Journal of Thoracic Oncology together. My name is Kelsey Tu. I'm a graduate student at the University of British Columbia in the Interdisciplinary Oncology Program. My research question is centered around lung cancer in non-smokers. So actually up to 25% of lung cancer cases arise in people who have never smoked. We don't have really any idea right now how they're developing. So I'm trying to basically figure out at the genetic level what's going on to make these tumors arise. We get material from uh, tumor specimens from lung cancer patients and we go through the genome and look for DNA alterations that might be responsible for driving uh, the tumors. So I guess the big thing is that right now the two main subtypes of lung cancer are treated the same way as one disease but there's lots of evidence to show that I mean they're different at the cellular level and as well as the genetic level and there's more and more evidence coming out now that when you treat these different subtypes with the same drug, they can respond differently and sometimes um, it's a negative effect and you can actually be harming the patient. So they come into the clinic maybe with lung cancer symptoms, but uh, a doctor may not necessarily think it's lung cancer because they don't have the smoking history. So um, it's really important to try and develop early diagnostic tools so we can identify people who are non-smokers that are actually at risk for lung cancer. Oh, I was extremely uh, excited and grateful when I won the Vanier. It's a huge achievement and I'm quite honored to be able to say that I won one. Winning the Vanier means that I don't have to worry about finding a secondary job. It can allow me to focus on my studies and my work as well as uh, taking part in some volunteer activities and extracurriculars. There's an award that we have for the BC Lung Tumor Group called the Betty Rice Award and this is a lady that uh, passed away from lung cancer uh, a few years ago and she was a non-smoker and so her family has established um, an award in her honour um, for people doing lung cancer research so I actually got to meet her family and her husband and her daughter and some of her grandkids and it was, it was really awesome to meet them and, and hear their story. You know they, they give this award but they may not necessarily know what the money is going towards so it was really interesting we got to sit down with them and kind of present present what we had been doing and I think they're really interested in learning how you know what we do and how that can hopefully help people in the future.